Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding adding index column in Power BI. So index function we will see in Power Query and Power BI when we go for transform data. So it will be under add column options where you can add the index column. So why we need to add the index column? So if we go to the details, so we have a picture which describes what is the need of that index column. And as a description indexes, add a new column to the table with explicit position values and is usually created to support other transformation patterns. So index column is used to create to support other transformation patterns. That means if you are getting a fat table, fat, FAT, fat means okay, all the details will be in a single table. See, in this example, we are having a sheet one which is having all the details. It is having the product name, it is having the customer name, it is having the country, city, and all. So it is not normalized data. So to clean modeling, you need to separate this table into a star schema table. So for that, you need to separate this product, you need to separate the country and city, you need to separate the customer and the address, everything you need to separate, and only the aggregate values need to be added in this fact table. So for separating this, you need to, how you are, you are going to link, you are taking away the product name from this table, how you are going to link this product name to this table. For linking the product name to the table, you need to have some value to link, isn't it? For that value, we will create an index table. So suppose this is the table we are having. Win. So what we are going to do, we will take this product out and we will create an index table here. The so product ID will be an index table. Index table, you can start from zero to down or one to down, one to above, or you can give your own value. So, so this will be the index table and this will be the product name. So what happens is the fact table, we will be taking about, we will be taking out this product text values and we will be replacing it with this product ID. That means we will be replacing it with this index table here. So instead of showing all the product names one by one and slowing out the system, it will be showing only the integer values here. So that, that means the product ID here. So we will see an example of that. In this, this same table we will create, the, we will just create the product table for this and we will see how it is performed. Go to the transform data option. So this is the fact table we are having, which is having too much of data. It doesn't have any dimension table. So we will do one thing. We will reference the table and we will name this table as fact table, fact sales. And once again, we will reference the data. And here we will do just what we will do is we will create a dim product table. So what we are going to do here is we are going to have this name here. We are, we are going to create a product table. So we need only this table only with this column and we will remove all other columns and then we are going to remove all the duplicates so we are having this much product names so this product name is same as this one this product name in the fact table but we are we are going to take out this product name from this table and we are going to instead of product name we are going to give one id for that so for creating the id we will use the index column so go to add column and index column is there go from here you can create custom column also or you can create from zero to one zero to above or one to above so we will create from one to above so we got an index column so 19 products are there so we got the index column we will rename it as product id so now this product ID should be in the place of this product name. So instead of showing all this text, all the integer values, all the index values will be shown there. So how you can do that? You can use other transformation like merge queries. You can just merge it and you can select the two tables. The first table will be the fact table of force and the product name should be selected and the dim product table also. And here also the product name can be selected. So all the rows will be selected according to the matching and you can create OK. So dim product table has been attached to this table and we need to get only the product ID. So we got the product ID. Now we can drag it and you can drag it and see here. So first product ID one is Pepsi Cola. If you go to the product table, product column, product ID one is Pepsi Cola. So instead of having this column, better to avoid this column and keep this column itself, product ID itself. So we will be removing this column. And with this product ID, it is linked to the dimension product table. So now what we can, we can do, we can go and close and apply and see in the modeling section. So before that, we will disable this load of the first sheet one and then we will close and apply. So we got the fact sales and now we have the dimension of product and how it is being linked to this. It has been linked with this product ID. So this is one of the way we can use the index table. And this is an important way to use the index table because most of the times you can create a dimension table by the help of index table, only with the help of index table. Hope this will help you in creating the index column. Have a nice day.